Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Circle of Life weekly reading. So this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So Pisces, this is the Circle of Life reading. This is meant to help keep you in alignment so that you can manifest your desires and your wishes. What you think about, you bring about. Uh, so putting your actions towards your desires, what you're thinking about, and really feeling it and putting that energy out into the universe, that's alignment. And that's what, you know, attracts what it is that you want. So let's see what's going on with your body, mind, and spirit. If you guys want a reading, link is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. All right, so we have the Prince of Swords here. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, I feel, I really feel like you're working on being happy within your body, being, um, feeling bright and cheery. That's what I'm getting, like feeling happy. So any movement of your body, I feel like you're doing something that makes you very happy. Like if you love bike riding, that's what you're doing. And I feel like you're challenging yourself as well. And you're also, you may be out dating, celebrating, celebrating business ventures with the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, but I really feel like you're working at, I'm hearing toning your body. And you're really following your intuition on this. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Princess of Pentacles and the lovers wow okay so i feel like you're listening to your body when it comes to love i feel like your your body is speaking to you and in, in offering you some truth as far as growth you see the growth coming from the sword here how do you grow into what it is that you want to attract in this case, it would be a love scenario, right? Now, it could be that you have some choices coming at you, Pisces, and you're seeking that truth. And it's your, you know, you're listening to your body. This is connected to your spirit, by the way, especially with that empress being here. And you, you have the lovers. The lover is looking right at the spirit over there. And so is the prince of swords. And this is, this is a card of connection with higher self, connection with spirit. And he's got the sword of truth in his hand. So I feel like you're in that zone or you will be in that zone that when you're doing something fun, Okay, you're going to be thinking about love at the same time. You're going to be thinking about what you want. You're going to be really feeling into it. So this is great for manifestation because it's like manifestate. It, you're going to be in action. But because you're doing something fun, your vibration raises right away. So the energetic forces that are available to you, Pisces, are greater Okay, the King of Pentacles. So this is also going to ground it. This is why I say it's great for manifestation. It's grounding it. Your body is grounding these uh, wishes and desires. Now, within your mind, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Chariots, and the Six of Cups, which is your energy. So you could be feeling nostalgic with the Six of Cups. 
I feel like you're thinking about being emotionally balanced. This card screams emotional balance, right? With, with everything being connected here, right? And growth coming from this emotional balance, all of that growth. And this is connecting to the body because that's exactly what you're trying to do. You're, you're feeling into your desires, right? Knowing what it is that you want to grow. And it's connecting you, okay, to your emotions here. Now, it's interesting that you have the Nine of Swords. And it's across from the Chariot. The Chariot is talking about connection with the Divine balance as well you've got sort of yin yang going on right movement forward so you could be thinking about moving forward on something and i do feel it's love okay it's something you've been holding on to or maybe you need to let go of something from the past let's see the star yeah so there's healing the Two of Swords, which keeps coming up. The Two of Swords and the Nine of Swords. And the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you're you're looking for this work-love balance. That's what you're looking for. And you're feeling stuck. With the star energy, it, this screams balance. All of this. Because even in your spirit, that's what I'm seeing. So you are seeking the ultimate balance, right? Within the body, mind, and spirit. And within, you know, your work and your love in social life, you are wanting and desiring balance. The moon. Hmm. You're thinking about also what it is that... Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. I feel like with the Nine of Swords, this is coming over the Nine of Swords, you're worried about what you can't see or what you don't know, right? The unknown. So that's where the anxiety and fear is coming from. The Nine of Pentacles, this is talking about abundance. This is talking about independence, right? Yeah, so you're getting over... Um, a love relationship that wounded you and this could have been a while ago it doesn't mean that it was yesterday it's just i think mercury is about to go retrograde so this may be just bringing up memories even if it was from 10 years ago it's just bringing up all these memories bringing up all these wounds this is what's going to be on your mind i feel like you're feeling good about business with the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles you're thinking about what you want to build right with work with love but you're also thinking about the balance within it right how do you balance it so you may be dealing with a virgo you may be thinking about a virgo so we have privileged lady official person and thoughts see this is my card of building right 22 is the master builder so with official person and thoughts, that's what you're thinking about. Building some sort of love relationship. Okay. With a higher vibration. You're thinking about what you've been waiting for. Okay. So you have distant horizons, mature woman in concern. What are your concerns? You're going around in your head about something. Oh, marriage. So you're thinking about marriage. You're thinking about the whole shebang. Ooh, thief. I feel like you're worried, okay? You're, you're worried about the unknown, okay? You may be suspicious, I don't know, of somebody. It could be a love situation. But I, I, I want to say that it's all in your head with the nine of swords that's what i want to say go with your intuition always but i do feel you you have to make sure that you're not anxious and fearful when you're evaluating this thief okay are you stealing time from yourself wasted energy are you stealing energy from yourself 
by worrying about something that may not even be there. That may be an illusion with the moon, right? So you've got a lot going on in your mind, all right? It could be a decision between two people, between the privileged lady and mature woman, but you have concern here. It's what you've been waiting for. So you keep going back and forth, okay? All right, within your spirit, you have the hanged man, which is you. You have the prince of wands. You have temperance and you have the princess of wands. Okay. Okay, spirit's about to spark you up. Spirit is about to spark you up. I feel like you're going to find this sense of peace amongst the chaos going on in your mind. Because <laughs> I feel like there's so much happening in your mind that, you know, you've got this angel coming in and calming it. Okay? And helping to balance you. I feel, I like the prince and princess of wands, right? I feel like there's this spark of your spirit that's really exciting and adventurous. And your ability to see things from a fresh perspective is, is only going to help you tremendously. Princess of Swords, King of Wands, and the High Priestess. This is your card for me, Gemini and uh, Pisces, for me as a reader. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Okay, so the King of Wands, you may have fire in your chart because I feel major manifestation. I feel like you're getting a hand from God here as far as manifestation goes. And I also feel that your intuition is going to be off the charts, actually. Wow. Spirit's gifting you with love. You have the Emperor and Empress here. So this could be um, a gift of a divine counterpart. Okay, so you're doing, you have a lot going on, Pisces. You're thinking about a lot. You're thinking about all different aspects of your life. But what I feel is that you're going to become balanced because of it. So you have main male courtship and change. High honor. So your vibration is going to raise. And with the raising of your vibration, major change is coming. And you're attracting somebody that you've been wishing and hoping for. But I feel like it could be more than one. Okay. So Pisces, you know, staying aligned within the body, mind, and spirit, I feel like your challenge is more of the mind, okay? In really trying to balance and slow down the mind, okay? And be more in your emotions than you are in your head. Because I feel like with the, you're, you're pretty well set within the body and within the spirit, okay? There is some worry. There is, you know, a lot going on here, but I feel like this is really going to raise your vibration, okay? And you can utilize the spirit to calm the mind, okay? So let's see, Pisces, what, I almost said Virgo, so maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, okay? What crystal will serve you well dealing with, hang on, Pisces. Okay, I'm going to take the two that flipped over. That's what I'm feeling. We have smoky quartz, earth lights. You are the two fishies, right? And how light, spiritual beginning. So, yeah, there could be an awakening here. But I do feel like, I mean, you're already connected, but th there's this major expansion, okay? That's going to come about. 
and I do feel the blue is sticking out. So your throat chakra, I feel there's a lot of work that's going to be done on your throat chakra. Okay. Okay, Pisces. So that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated. Drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link. All readings are only uh, purchased through my Etsy shop and know that I will message you as soon as you order or soon after and let you know the turnaround time. When your order is complete, I will then send you an unlisted link that will take you here to this YouTube channel where you can view your video. If anything is different, uh, please message me on Etsy and let me know. I don't do phone reading readings at all, so know that, Pisces, okay? Uh, check out your September reading. That is also out, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.